this is all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a crop nights, yeah. yeah, yeah. Crop nights, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a crop nights. by the name of Riot. Everybody give it up for Riot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What's up, What's Mr. Riot? Okay, nice Mr. to have you. Welcome to the show. Appreciate yes, sir, you. Yes, sir. Definitely. So, man, um, uh, about this crumb game, man, we just want to hear some uh, your experience, how you came into it and what it means to you and where you've been with it. Shoot, how I came into it, man, that starts back into when I was knee high to a duck, you know? <laughs> no, no, when I was really like, probably about like 15, uh, going to the all ages clubs. And uh, mm. people that kind of got me into crump was uh, J Slot, T Slot, mm. and Warrior. And um, we would always see each other at the all ages club. Yeah. And with three XTs talk. Man, the T's was down there to the to the shins right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was getting in there. One size fits all. Um, but just was rocking out with them and always kind of like battling with each other. But at first we kind of battled against each other and it was kind of like, oh shoot, you know. We always keep seeing each other here. Then we wound up just kind of like sticking together, mm. which kind of led to you know a lot of the other things kind of growing, which was like the foundation, which is our crew. Right. Kind of led to that. You know what I mean? Being grown. Um, and yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah, I started back, uh, shoot, I want to say like 2002, mm. 2000, yeah, yeah, somewhere around that time, like, yeah, 15, 16 years old. Sheesh, sheesh, that's been a minute. Damn, boy, I tell you what. So what, what keeps you, uh, in Crump? Like, what, what's the, what's the heart of it for you? Um, well, you know what's crazy? I found the love again, um, mm. and kind of what, what kind of is, uh, what, gave me the love again was kind of the little homies, the, the, yeah. the new fresh batch that kind of came in, and, you know, the all style kind of vibes that they've mm -hmm. been bringing, the freshness that's kind of like uh, keeping me on my toes and kind of keeping me ahead, where it's kind of like teaching them the beginning and the basics and stuff, which is having me tap into some stuff again, but then also kind of like helping them find out how to incorporate their, other, their style into crump, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, it's been kind of cool seeing them adapting like that. But yeah, that's kind of been keeping me fresh, keeping me going. The little homies, uh, like our block, it's, it's a lot of new, hungry people with the same kind of mindset. But yeah, just kind of keeping me on my toes, keeping me pushing, keeping me kind of damn near, you could say, keep me young. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah, no, no, roll that, roll shit, yeah. roll shit, keep me young type thing. No, definitely. So what, what's something important that you see in the game today that could uh, use like improvement or some guidance on? Just being, uh, holding people more accountable. Hmm. Um, us, not just who, it doesn't matter what <laughs> rank they are, yeah. people being more held more accountable. Um, people being able to communicate more, understand of uh, the way of communicating. So yeah, yeah, I think and, communication and, uh, with is with that, I, um, I could only assume that would be a, a definite uh, challenge because um, everybody has a, a different Upbringing, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. like people are, are raised different, and they respond to certain things different. So our, our, on goal, our goal is to have that solid communication. But on because it looks good on paper, but yeah. the reality is it, it's always going to be a fight. But like you, like you said, people that are gonna um, based off what you said, but people that are willing to make that sacrifice. People, yeah, yeah. people if you're willing to, uh, you can, you uh, can take your time that. into that. Like me having different little homies that are all over the globe. It teaches me how to be able to teach that different ways. Because right. some people do take different things differently. I can say that's whack to some of my littles. Mm -hmm. And I can't say that to some of other littles because it might heal them. It might hit them hard. It might right. mess up their whole whatever. Um, language barriers. Yes. Our slang could be different. You know what I mean? I could be like, man, that shit's sick. It's like, wait, sick? I don't get what you mean. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, sure. right. But you know, that's where a lot of that stuff comes in. I guess that's just me being around for so long and having different little homies different ways. I've learned to not only think of how I would learn or teach it or be able to take it, but how someone else can. Some people are more verbal. Yeah. Some people need the action. Some, you know, sir. I definitely yeah. know what you mean, because my little homies in Japan, we basically communicate by charades. Bro, oh <laughs> it's the, Bro. there's no dialogue. That, it's it's hard, but the thing is, you try to make it work, and right. it's like, what's dope is that the, the, the movements kind of explain it, you know what right. I mean? But being able just to be able to 
break that little barrier just a little bit so they can understand a little more and be like, yeah. whoa. And but, seeing improvement yeah. is definitely right. like the mission complete. It yeah. feels like the, the purpose has mm-hmm. been achieved. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about, because um, I've seen people dance um, and have a hard time, like, and, and they'll be good dancers and then they pick a track and then they get out there to that track and it just, it's just not working. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So what do you think about, like, what's the reason for that? Is it they are just off that day? Um, or is it the track selection? Like, what really kind of defines that factor of what's going on there? So for me, um, I would say track selection is big to me. Mm. Battle time, it's got to be war kind of feel. You know what I mean? It's got to yeah. be something that brings something out of you or whatever. But sometimes we do take that risk of trying, like, let's try this track, a rock and roll track or a hip-hop yeah. song or one of my songs. Um, <laughs> um, keep going. Um, but sometimes having those um, tracks that you pick and taking that risk, like, say, yeah, someone trying to get onto the track track or something. <laughs> yeah, you try yeah. to take that risk, you might lose the interest. You right. might lose the... the 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 interview the people watching you yeah. the uh, consumer I guess you can say because uh, yeah I think we have an attention span of damn near what two to five seconds right you kind of lose me in the track it's gonna be kind of hard to catch up when the, when you're dancing right you know? and build that momentum yeah you, you gotta catch everybody back. excited mm, excited mm, mm. yeah. yeah. So definitely. So um, um, some of the things that you uh, noticed with the game, I think you said accountability. What example do you see yourself showing? Um, for them to follow in that, um, as far as being accountable. If I'm gonna say it, I'll do it. Yeah. Um, kind of action. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, uh, and sometimes the best word is not really saying something. Some something sometimes. Like, like replying. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to really necessarily always reply to someone saying something about yeah. me. You right. feel me? Like like someone can have their opinion or say their little two cents. You don't have to necessarily always reply. You know what I mean? Or really kind of just like... And I, and I think that that's kind of, for some people, hard because mm. uh, people are so um, conflicted because they, I get it, they gave their heart out into something and they get, get some criticism and they, they see one comment on a YouTube and they lose their mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, oh, this yeah. person, this person, hey, this per-, but that's what comes with the territory. That does. If you want to do an event or if you want to uh, battle and it's on YouTube and it's in public, that's what's gonna happen. That's what comes with the territory of trying to be in the battle scene. People are gonna criticize. Or just even being great in general. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna have those crazy comments on your stuff. You know what I mean? Like you could have you probably have seen it on your comments. You're like, yeah. damn, they be saying some crazy stuff about it. Yeah. But if you let that hinder you, then this you're gonna get knocked off by anything then. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay on you. Like your, yeah. your biggest hater is gonna give you the most views. Yeah, so, so people have to grow. Um, be more mature, but take have some endurance mm-hmm. because, like, especially in uh, certain communities, people feel being tough is aggressive. Like, oh, I got to be this, like, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real blase blog and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. really, being tough is all about endurance. How much you can actually take and still be who you are. You know, how much stress stress you can maintain and still do what you need to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. real endurance. That's real strength. And that's those one of the things I want to also encourage to people coming up. Even though it's hard, that's something. That's a goal you want to reach. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'll say last thing. Uh, I think what kind of divide certain things to give it some order is I think we make it uh, too free. And I don't mean too free like uh, people don't have an option. Mm. I mean too free as there's no, everything's subjective. So when there's everything subjective, nothing has no purpose and the, no goals can be set and there's no pr- improvement. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There's no improvement. Not really no like line kind no of No line. So we have thing. organization, you have some order, you have some quote unquote rules, which we're, the life itself has rules. When we st- have our boundaries, things get established. You, you know what I'm saying? Definitely people, need to have something like people that. People hide behind, oh, this is my opinion. Yes, that's cool. But, it, but what's real? What's real? You know so, what I'm saying? Like, what, I don't care about the name, whatever it is. Just be honest. They didn't win that or something. You know what I mean? Right. Let's just break that down like that. Like, there's got to be a line of this is what it is. Mm. And then also, this is my opinion. This is what I feel. Like, I like mm. this stuff more. I'm more into character. I'm more into this right. vibe. You feel me? Like, so I will go into this, but. If I break it down, this did win. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, exactly. That's what we definitely need more of that, for sure, for sure. Yeah, well, judgment, yeah. Because that's how we are able to elevate people. And move on, too. Yeah, and they, they'll know, like, what position they play, you know. Because some people will be like, oh, I want to get rid of titles. 
But titles are just something that lets you know what position you're in. Like if you're a JR, you have a different position in the fam to kind of like house the fam. Yeah. The homie's not there, you, you do some guy. There's, these are positions to know your accountability and your responsibility. Amen to that. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's why nobody, not everybody should just be claiming titles because it comes with responsibility. So your you titles come with when your peers say it. Oh, yeah. Your peers should give you the titles. Oh, I ain't never said none of what I am. I ain't never said I'm this or that. It just came to me from my peers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's, That's how it should be. So any any uh, last words for um, the community or anything? Advice you want to, advice you want to give them? Uh, don't be afraid to be yourself. Any conglomerates? Any conglomerates? <laughs> any Ellings? For the young Ellings? <laughs> um, don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to try something. Uh, you see. I still keep trying to do some new shit. I'm 20 plus years in it. I'm still finding new. And, so. and then before you go on, on the um, because some people weren't around for it. Because mm -hmm. Crump has been around for uh, uh, it's still the youngest dance, but it's run, been around for a while, and a lot of things minute. has happened. Uh, you've been on, yeah, did some industry work too, a lot. I'm yep. also one of the known ones is with T Pain and yeah, T Pain. Yes, sir. T Pain was one of the main ones. I was touring with him for about eight years, seven, eight years. Backup dancer. Uh, can't believe it video. That's where the face came from. That's where this face came from. Uh, uh, kind of a little short story back on, back story on that. He was the ringleader. He wore the top hats. That's when he was wearing those big old hats. Yeah. He was the ringleader in the circus. We were the clowns. We didn't paint it in color because we didn't want to be in the circus. We were clowns that were working in the circus that didn't want to be there no more. So that's why it was dark. And that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of where the face came from. So definitely, man. I appreciate you appreciate for coming you, out. Man. Appreciate you. Uh, me, give man. it a big uh, round of applause yes, for sir. Big Riot. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.